Today, we are gonna talk about tips, tricks, and hacks to help us drink more water. To begin with, I want to stress how important water is. It helps us control our weight. We actually talked about how water can be used as another tip, trick, and hack that we talked about a couple weeks ago. You can check it out here. And water is huge for weight loss. But water is also the base of every body fluid. Urine, sweat, blood, saliva, all of them are based on water. You need it. It helps our kidneys function, and our kidneys is what takes away the toxins out of our body. So you need your kidneys functioning, and it takes water. It helps energize muscles. It helps our skin stay healthy and vibrant looking. And it helps our bowel functions. Because let's face it, do you want to be constipated? No, 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 no! I'm gonna tell you right from the top, water has been a problem with me. I'll do really, really good, and then all of a sudden I'll find myself not drinking any water. And I struggle with water. So this one is aimed right here. So over the years, I've tried different tips, tricks, and hacks, and I'm going to share five of them with you today. Number one, flavor packets. This one is huge because I can't tell you how many times I've heard somebody say, but water tastes so boring, it's bland. I don't like water. Okay, fair enough. If you don't like water, let's turn it into something that you will like. Go out and buy a flavor packet. They have them at Aldi's, they have them at Walmart, they have them everywhere. You can order them on Amazon. You put your flavoring in the bottle and you drink up. And for those people who say, I don't like plain water, well, what's your excuse now? Because you can have flavored water. There are so many different flavors and types of flavored water in the market. I mean, seriously. I'll put some links in the description for these because they're good and it's as simple as that. Add flavor to your water. If that's what's gonna make you drink it, add it. Now, sure, the optimum way to drink would be straight up water, nothing in it because those flavoring packets do have a little bit of sugar, maybe a little artificial sweetener, so yes, the optimum way would be straight up water. But you know what, if you're, go if you're striving for perfection, but that perfection is keeping you from drinking any water because you don't wanna put flavor packets in because it, then it would mess up, then you're failing. Use the flavored packets because water with flavor in it is better than no water at all. And I'll be honest, I am trying to cut back on how many flavor packs I use because I would like to get back to straight water. I used to drink a lot of straight water and never put anything in it, and I'd like to get back there. It's a process. Number two is actually kind of along the same lines. This is where you're going to infuse your water. There are water bottles that have infusers, and you basically put your fruit or your herbs or whatever into the middle section and it infuses into the water. So your water will taste like that herb, like that fruit. And this is a great way to add a little bit of flavor to your water without the actual added sugars and artificial sweeteners. It is going to be more of a muted taste, but it still is a great way to add flavor. Like I said, this is another way to make your water more palatable if you struggle with water drinking. Some of the more common things to add, lemon, lime, cucumbers, mint, basil, oranges, different berries. You can add all of these in and let them let those flavors infuse into your water. Now, the extra benefit of adding fruit is the fact that while you are not going to get the full effect of the fruit, there are studies that say that you're gonna get about 20% of the effect from the vitamins and minerals that are in the fruit. So you're gonna get something. Just remember, it's only 20%. So don't infuse some strawberries into your water and be like, I had strawberries, you know, because you're only getting 20%. So think about that, manage it, be wise. Number three, and this is a big one, is to track your water. Are you really drinking what you think you're drinking? Are you really drinking what you need to be drinking? You might be surprised at what you really are drinking. My mom was a perfect example of this. If you would have ever asked her, do you drink a lot of water? She would have been like, oh, absolutely. I drink lots of water. So for years, even before her stroke, my brother and I suspected that she was not drinking enough water because she always had a glass of water beside her but that water was always full. And she'd be like, hey, can you go get me some more water? And we would take her glass, which would be full, with maybe one or two drinks out of it, 
and we would go dump it out and get her fresh water. Or we would go add ice to make it cold. Her cup was never empty. It was always full, maybe a little bit out. And so she always had water, but was she really drinking it? We suspect not. We tried to talk to her about it. However, she always left us. I have water all the time. Well, yes, she has water beside her all the time. So you might be the same way. You might have your water with you, but are you really drinking it? Are you really drinking the water? So you need to have some way to track your water. Now, I'm not even really talking about a tracker of, I've got to write it down, although that is a great way to keep track. You can, every time you drink a glass, get a piece of paper and put a check mark, or go to MyFitnessPal and add it in, or wherever you track. Yes, you can track it that way. However, I'm talking about just something even more simple. Have a 64 ounce mug and fill it up at the beginning of the day when it's done, you know you've got 64 ounces. I personally right now have 30 ounce tumblers. I know I need to drink two of them. I also have a 64 ounce container of water that I keep in the refrigerator. I fill it every day. And by doing that, when I fill my 30 ounce mug, I fill it out of there. That way I know exactly where I'm at throughout the day. And that way if I go and just wanna get some plain water, I can drink it there, no, no problem. I keep track of it that way. Whatever you're doing, just make sure you're keeping track because you might not be drinking the water that you think you're drinking. And what's important is at the end of the day, I know, did I do good? Did I not do good? Did I drink? Did I not? That's what matters. Number four, and this one's a little personal, just a little, but you know, we're all friends here. So let's just dive into it. And this one is to get in the habit of looking in the toilet at your pee, plain and simple. Check out your urine every time. Yes, peer into the toilet at your urine. Watch the color. Your urine should be very pale yellow. Transparent maybe, pale yellow. I heard some people call it like a lemonade color. You want it to be very, very light. If your urine is looking a little bit dark, you probably need to drink. Now, just a word of warning, sometimes medicine and vitamins can make your pee look a little bit different colored. And in fact, some foods that you eat can change the color of your pee. Beets are one of them. If you eat a high quantity of beets, your pee will turn red. And I know this firsthand, not because of a personal experience that happened to me, but something that happened to Jason. Jason read something online at one point about how beets would be fabulous. So he decided that he was going to drink beet juice. So he went out and got a jar of beet juice and he drank his beet juice. And shortly thereafter, within the next 24 hours, he was like, oh my goodness, Mary Fran, you've got to come in here. You just got to see this. My pee is red. So yes, I went into the bathroom and looked at Jason's pee because it was red. So I know firsthand that it will turn your pee red if you drink enough or eat enough. So just be forewarned, so not to be shocked, but be looking at your pee. Judge your drinking by your pee. There are charts all over online. Check one of them out. Last but not least, reward yourself. Especially if you're struggling to drink a lot of water, reward yourself when you have a good day. My vice is soda, and I use diet soda as my reward. If I drink my 64 ounces, I can have a glass of diet soda. And let me tell you, it works. Because I will be, I'll be drinking, and I'm like, oh man, I really want my soda. It's getting later in the afternoon. I know I'm going to want to drink it tonight. And I'll be looking in my glass, and I'm like, oh my word, I have probably about 20 ounces left. And I'll be like, chug, chug, chug. Because it's a motivator and it's my reward. It's a two for one, like it. You know, get a new water bottle, get, you know, whatever. Reward yourself when you start drinking your water. If I make it to the end of the day and I do this, I'm gonna give myself this. Because it's an everyday challenge, you know, you can make your rewards a little smaller. Do it for, once you start getting it more consistent, make it a weekly challenge and a weekly reward. But, but you know what, reward yourself because this is something that you have to build a habit to do. So there you have it. Five tips, tricks, and hacks to help you stay motivated. I hope these help you on your quest to be drinking enough water. No excuses. Mm -hmm.